And therefore, dear children, you will certainly not regret getting into my dark van with me. What's going on here? This shady character is trying to lure us into his van under very suspicious circumstances. Uh-huh. So what are you waiting for? You cannot be serious. Children must never enter strange people's vans. That's a very important rule. Nah, nah. Rules are for people who are too clumsy to cheat. I'm sure this friendly gentleman only has your best interests in mind. Right? Um, yes. Of course. He claims that he's got a petting zoo with cute animals in there. A petting zoo? <gasps> really? What? Um, well, <laughs> actually... Ooh, me first! Out of my way! Ooh, ooh! Pretty dark in here for a petting zoo. And where are the cute animals? Um, well, here, right in front of you. Oh boy, oh boy! <laughs> I'm so excited! Whoa! What? What are you doing? No, no, don't worry. I'm really good with animals. Stop it! Immediately! Get out of here! No! There's no reason to get so upset. I was just finished anyway. And? What and? It was totally cool. The animals were mega cute, and I got to pet them. I think you're fibbing. Well, fortunately, I have proof. Here. What's that? That's a print of the cute animal. Anybody can see that. I can't make head or tail out of it. What sort of animal is that supposed to be? It's a cute puppy. Oh, yeah? What breed? Ah, uh, uh, wire-haired dachshund. Don't they have a shorter nose? Um, maybe it was uh, something else. It's an adorable kitty cat. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Here's the head, and there's the butt. And what's that? Uh, whiskers. On his bottom? Um, maybe it was uh, something else. Doesn't really matter. You're just jealous. Next time, I'll make a better impression. If you say so, if you ask me, I'd consider the possibility of professional therapy. Hey, nobody asked you, because you're just a stupid kid. No time for black... I'd like a therapy session. It doesn't work like that. You need a doctor's referral. <laughs> Is that really necessary? My family doctor doesn't much like me. The last time I saw him, he locked me up in prison just because I set fire to City Hall. Uh, uh-huh. Then you're in the right place. That much is sure. But first, you need a referral. Yeah. All right. And in the meantime, I'll get a larger notepad. I have a doctor's referral. May I see it? Everything seems to be in order. Please lie down on the couch. Well, you sure don't waste any time. You could at least put on some romantic music. Just lie down, okay? All right, all right. All right, first, I would like you to tell me why you're here. I'm not here just to chat with you, actually. You're expecting results. That's quite normal. If you have a hard time talking about your problems, we can begin with something else. Hmm, how about a Rorschach test? What? You're gonna lock me up in a shack? With a lion? <sighs> it's an association game with cards. Oh, a card game. <laughs> Fine with me, but don't get your hopes up. I always win at cards, because I'm the coolest guy there is. <laughs> Much more so than my father, you know, for example. Uh, if you say so, let's get started then. Penis! <laughs> no, I mean, I'm ready. So, what do you see in this picture? 
Elysium taking off towards Utopia. And that does not worry you? You know the rumors about the Elysians giving the order to blow up Deponia, right? <laughs> Do I know them? <laughs> I started them. Uh, I see. Perhaps we should proceed with the next picture. What do you see here? A gorgeous butterfly. You what? A butterfly, you know, flitting through the air. Not a care in the world. Ah, uh, I see. Was that wrong? In that case, I would like to use my lifeline. This is not about being right or wrong. It's just that most people see something different in this picture. <laughs> most people are idiots. They wouldn't know a butterfly if it fluttered up their butt. Uh, I see. Interesting. Let's look at the next picture. What do you see here? I see a great hero. Myself. Please be serious, will you? Hey, what do you mean? You're the one with the funny glasses. Right. That's it. If you prefer goofing off instead of giving me some serious answers, then you've come to the wrong person. But I only told you what I saw. In that case, you should definitely leave. There is no therapy here for people like you. Maybe you should consult an exorcist instead. And please stay away from me. Far away. Knock, knock. What do you want now? I want to visit your petting zoo again. <laughs> no, thanks. I... Hey! What do you think you're doing? Ah, oh, don't sweat the small stuff. I just wanted another peek at your animal. B but, but, stay cool, man. I'll only be a minute. Whoa! What? What are you doing? No, no, don't worry. I'm really good with animals. Stop it! Immediately! Get out of here! No! There's no reason to get so upset. I was just finished anyway. And? Do you have proof now? <laughs> Certainly! Oh yeah? And what is that supposed to be? A colorful butterfly. Do you really call that a butterfly? Of course. Look closer. Here are the wings, and here's the, um, uh, you know, whatever they are. It is a butterfly. Bambina? Lottie? What are you doing here? And why are you dressed as men? First of all, these are our uniforms. We're now office <coughs> officers of the resistance! <laughs> officers. <laughs> Cute. Moreover, it's Private Lottie to you now and Sergeant Bambi. <laughs> Sergeant Bambi. <laughs> Do you hear that, Lottie? I think Ruf... I think Rufus is making fun of us, Sergeant! I think he's looking for a new set of teeth. Ladies, ladies, please stay calm. Don't get your panties in a knot. That causes chafing. <laughs> Attention! Superior officer present. Ah! Where? Behind you! <laughs> Naturally, I was referring to myself you herbal cannon fodder supplement. Yeah, right. We're only taking orders from our squad leader. Yeah, well, I don't care who that is. She's under my command as well. I'm the big chief, after all. <laughs> nice try, Rufus. But we know the general, and you're not him. The what? The general? Huh. Squad leaders, generals. Have I really been gone that long? So you've joined the resistance now, too. <laughs> Do you mind? Of course not, Sergeant. <laughs> Bambi. <laughs> 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 
What's so funny about that? Well, it's funny because you're women. <laughs> Don't you get it? Oh, for pity's sake. I always knew you was an idiot, but a sexist idiot? What? No, no. It's got nothing to do with sexism. Some things just don't fit together. Women in the resistance. I mean, that's like, you know, putting a sombrero on a wombat. <laughs> <coughs> ho, ho, ho! Sombrero! You see, even Lottie finds it funny. And I don't think it's because she's prejudiced against toxicants, right? Never. Or wombats. Oh, I love wombats. They're so... Ahem! They're useful animals! Exactly. Just like women. I don't want to bother you uh, any longer. You can't be serious. All right, I don't have time to bother you any longer. That's more like it. Hey, there's something moving there. Isn't that... <gasps> of course. That's baby Bozo in great danger. I have to tell Barry about it. Yoo-hoo! Open up! Yes? Leibold! What luck! Uh, let me in! Do I know you? Excuse me? It's me! Rufus! Come on, you must recognize your leader! You look like Rufus, but you can't be him! Rufus made it to the Upper Ascension Station with Yenai! Yeah, but I'm right here! That's your opinion! <sighs> I don't have time for this nonsense! Who's in charge here? A new leader! Well, then let me in! I, I want to talk to him! No, I can't! How can I be sure you're not an Organon spy? <laughs> that takes the cake. After all, I started this rebellion. Oh, and is there anyone who can attest to that? You mean besides you? Yes, precisely. Somebody else has to vouch for you? Oh, this is a bunch of bureaucratic nonsense. But all right, I'll be right back. And you can get ready to do a few push-ups. Hello, you two lovely ladies. Yo again! What do you want? I need someone who can identify me. You are Rufus! Yeah, I know that. But Liebold appears to have forgotten. So will you come to the gate with me, so he'll finally let me into the camp? Maybe later. We're on an important mission right now. Oh yeah? You're painting each other's nails? Nah. We're giving each other tattoos of our squad insignia. Unfortunately, we're still missing a suitable design! <laughs> what about a little pony? Or a adorable kitten paw prints? Are you trying to tell us we're not tough enough? Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, I, I suggested that because I'm, I'm a macho male. Uh, not because I, I love adorable <coughs> kitten paw prints. If you want to test the toughness of my fists, just let me know. I've got an idea for your squad insignia. Let's hear it. What about a unicorn? Yes! Private, did I say yes? I meant no, of course! You heard her. But if you wait until I find the crowbar, I'll be happy to make you look like a unicorn. I'm sure you'll find something suitable. If you think of anything else, keep it to yourself. Unless it's actually good. I don't want to bother you uh, any longer. You can't be serious. All right, I don't have time to bother you any longer. That's more like it. I found the right design for your unit. Here. Hey, that's not bad. That looks sort of fierce. <laughs> you can say that again. A fierce butterfly, you cupcakes. Whatever it is, you found the right design for our squad insignia. Now we can get started. Are you sure you want to watch? Getting a tattoo isn't for sensitive souls. Sensitive souls? The very nerve. As you wish. Sensitive souls. Pyeh. I don't believe it. I've jammed hot needles in parts of my body that...
what do you know? It was so boring, I just fell asleep. <laughs>